All right, second take. Let's see if I can smooth this out. <laughs> this time, Mr. DJ back. Took about a few nights off. Back to count down my fantasy playlist of June 13, 1986. A lost 45 by Billy Joel at number 33. He didn't think this was one of his best records. Uh, it was a moderate hit. Early summer of 1986, Modern Woman, Billy Joel at number 33, up four from 37 uh, the previous week. June 13, 1986 on my fantasy playlist. Billy Joel, I, you know, but here's the thing about Billy Joel. And I appreciate him a lot more now than I did back in the day. The guy was just a genius. I mean, think about it. I don't even know how to put my mind around this, but I got to. I want to do this in less than three minutes. <laughs> you got a guy, okay, it starts out with uh, his first big hit, Piano Man, a storytelling song. Classic late 60s, early 70s uh, storytelling template infused to the to uh, Piano Man, 1974. The Entertainer came out in 1975. He did Captain Jack. And then there was uh, Just the Way You Are, 1977. Big Shot, where the cynicism just seemed to pour right out of him. 1979, It's Just Rock and Roll to Me in 1980. And uh, Good Night Saigon in 1982. So you got this diversity of Billy Joel all the way from this great homage to the Four Seasons. And it is a homage to the Four Seasons, Uptown Girl in 1983, all the way to Good Night Saigon in 1982. And there was the heavy, almost a heavy metal uh, type record, Pressure in 1982, where he just, uh, well, what can I say? I mean, the guy, I just, uh, the thing about Billy Joel is this. The guy could be angry, he could be really nice, sweet, tender, tenderoni, and be cynical, angry, thoughtful, philosophical, and do this within a commercial format that got him hit records and memorable album cuts. Gosh, it says a lot. It really does. This movie, Modern Girl, uh, Modern Woman, rather, is from a movie called uh, Ruthless People, which starred Ben Miller. I might have seen that movie at the Tide Theater. Probably did. But uh, this this song appears in a couple of slots in the movie uh, at the closing credits and also when Ben Miller was working out. Billy Joel did not like this song. He hated it. He would not perform it in concert, and he, would, he refused to put it on his second greatest hits album. So on my fantasy playlist, though, number 33, Billy Joel with Modern Woman. 